Hey everybody, I brought in a, uh, a guest speaker. Probably not gonna say much, so I'll speak for him. Um, so I removed some of the parts, so we took the heart out. Um, I took out some lungs, just so we can see better. So I'm, this is a little bit empty. Um, so yeah, so I thought we could just like maybe review uh, the parts of the digestive system with, uh, with an image, right? And we'd like practice like what the functions are. So here's the tube, right, that runs from your mouth, eventually is connecting to your stomach, and that's called the esophagus. I'm gonna remove this thing first, right? It's got a gallbladder tucked away in there. This is called the liver. Um, so here we have our stomach, right? The stomach's actually quite a small organ. I mean, it, it expands, like I definitely Thanksgiving, I throw, I really test its expanding properties. But if you can see up top here, it's connected to the esophagus. And then if we open it up, you can see all those convolutions in there and ridges. So those are the muscles that help you mechanically digest, digest the food. Um, on the other side here, if you can see, it's connected to the beginning of our small intestine. You can see that little hole right there. That's called the duodenum, right? And if I take this part out, because if you remember I was talking about the importance of drawing this a very specific way because IB has nothing else to worry about. Um, so there's our pancreas, and here we can see the ducts, right? Those are the tubes that are gonna carry our three enzymes, that's for Mr. Fleming, our three enzymes um, that are produced in the pancreas. The one that breaks down proteins is trypsin. The one that breaks down our carbohydrates, right, is pancreatic amylase, <clears throat> and the one that breaks down our fats is the lipase. And it will travel, whoops, wrong way, it will travel down that pancreas and eventually feed in to our, into our, I can't do it backwards like this, into our duodenum. Also, that little green tube up there is also squeezing in and going to produce some, or deliver some bile that will help us uh, mechanically digest um, some of the fats that are in our, in our food. So the pancreas and duodenum, if we go further, here we have our small intestines all folded in. Uh, you can't really see it in the back here, but all folded in, eventually coming to the end of the small intestines called the ileum, and it will feed into the uh, large intestines. It looks like they try to draw like a little part of it right here. I'm looking for the appendix. I don't know if I really see it. Then the large intestine, up, oh, let's talk about the small intestines first. Remember, it has two functions, very important functions. So it digests your food. Most of the digestion happens in here, especially in the beginning part um, in the duodenum. And then during this whole process, as it slowly moves food, your blood is like pulling out all the nutrients it, it can um, to make sure it maximizes the energy value in your, in your food. And then we travel, the food will travel at this point through um, your large intestine. So here is the food that didn't get digested and has one destination, and that is the toilet. Um, so all that food that doesn't get digested will eventually pass through your large intestine, stored in the rectum, and then passes through your, through your anus. Um, but the role of the large intestine is uh, to reabsorb the water liters and liters of water are used during the digestive process to, um, to digest your food and make sure there's lots of liquid in there so the enzymes can meet the food. And if you didn't reabsorb that water, you would be spending your whole day drinking water, right? So this large intestines does a very good job of doing that. It also um, has bacteria in there and the bacteria uh, actually breaks down food for you that you can use. Um, so it breaks down more nutrients. Um, it also uh, produces vitamin K, which is very important as a byproduct of its uh, metabolism. And um, yeah, bacteria bacteria that's, that you're friends with is actually pretty good for you. So yeah, so that's all the parts of the digestive system. The one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, the, the, the stomach has a low pH because one of its other functions besides helping you digest your food mechanically and also chemically with pepsin it has a, an immune system function. So your food covered in all sorts of viruses and bacteria, right, go into your stomach and the acids will destroy them. So it also plays an important role in, in disinfecting your food. So that's why when my boys eat stuff off the ground, I'm like, meh, I don't worry about it. All right. Thank you, sir, ma'am, whatever you are.